herbs, yes. That's why we're gonna juice dill. Because dill is an herb and a really, really fantastically healthy promotion herb. This will promote health. This will promote health. Dill. Dill juice. Yes, you can make dill juice. So that's what we're going to make today. Some dill juice. Yeah. yeah. Recipe today is... That's a pretty large head of dill, if, you, if I must say so myself. And we're going to use medium large cucumber and three apples. Now, as all herbs, herbs are strong tasting, so this is going to be a strong tasting juice, but it's going to make you strong. So, bear with it. In fact, it's actually delicious. Because herbs are delicious. That's why people use them. Now, if you don't cook them, you get the health benefits out of them. If you cook them, you're only going to get the vitamins and the minerals in them. But even if you're cooking, I suggest you use dill because it has the, uh, the mineral calcium. A lot of calcium and, and this whole head here. I'm getting myself a nice hefty portion of calcium. And you know calcium. Calcium's good for your bones. That's what they say. They say it's good for your bones. Some stuff they say, I believe. And when they say calcium is good for the bones, I believe. I'm a believer. This stuff is antibacterial. So you got bacterial infections? Rub this on it. Eat this. Drink this. Do it raw, baby. Prevents heart disease and cancer. That's because it fights free radicals. What do free radicals do? Oh, they do damage. They age you. So this is an anti-aging herb. Yeah, this is a cleanser, and we're going to always use cleansers. Who needs to cleanse? Everybody needs to cleanse. Yeah, the healthiest person on the planet needs to cleanse. I don't care. You can argue the point, but it's useless. It's futile to argue that point with me. Okay. So we're going to also, uh, if you got the little piece of dill on your plate there, it's good because it helps digestion. That's another good thing that dill is known for. And it, it is known to reduce acid reflux. And there's a lot of people out there popping those acid reflux pills. It's a pharmaceutical gold mine. So, fight. Fight Big Pharma. By eating dill. Headache remedy. Fight Big Pharma. By eating dill. No more headache pain medications. That you get addicted to when you take them and they're also... Uh, neurotoxins. This is all those pharmaceuticals. You gotta stay away from them. Get, that's worse than eating anything. Eating those pharmaceuticals, they kill you. Well, they will kill you in the long run because uh, they complement, they only mask the problem, and what happens in the end, you wind up attracting other ailments and diseases from the use of the pharmaceuticals. So it's a pyramid. It's a big pyramid. Once you start the pharmaceuticals, it's going to continue, and you're going to be continuing to go back to your doctor for a prescription. That's an office visit. It's a gold mine, I'm telling you, it's a gold mine. So get on these fresh raw fruits and vegetables and avoid all that nonsense. Another thing good about dill, which you might like, and maybe I should take, it calm you down.
it calms you down so that you're not on the gas pedal heavy foot on the gas pedal and you're not flipping the and you're not hating in fact some cultures take the dill and they put it on their eyes when they can't sleep and next morning they wake up nice and fresh fresh because they slept all night and they so it's a cure for insomnia basically that's what I'm trying to say still cure for insomnia how many people are spending money on medications for the insomnia jeez so I'll tell you do the world a favor Stop spending money on pharmaceuticals. Also, think about it. The insurance companies. Big insurance. All that money. You add up the money. Insurance companies, pharmaceutical companies, and the medical industry. We need doctors, of course. When you get in an accident, you need a doctor. Because surgeons, uh, one of the only good things to have come out of that field is the good, definitely, the best thing to come out of medicine, Western medicine, is the surgical techniques that they have. It's awesome. Hey, look at all that. Maybe before I put this apple in, I'm going to take a chance and see if we can get this last apple. I'll wind up spilling this stuff. So this recipe gives you a quart of dill juice. Oh yeah, these uh, these apples too are known known to keep the doctors away too. Yeah, what you're seeing here is extreme health technique. Okay, none of this nonsense counting calories. That's ridiculous. <laughs> counting calories! Oh my god, is that foolish? It's a foolish thing. So, all you need to do get yourself on a raw fruit and vegetable diet. Lifestyle, not diet. I hate that word, diet. Because diets don't work, okay? That's what I can say about diets. Diets do not work, okay? You're only fooling yourself if you think they do work. The lifestyle, the raw fruit and vegetable lifestyle will be the bright light, lead you to the bright light at the end of the tunnel samadhi state nirvana it's a higher consciousness this is what we're meant to, to uh, achieve in this life higher state of consciousness good karma here we go what does this smell great this smells fantastic that's another thing this is good for bed breath body odor you keep drinking stuff like this people are going to tell you, you know what? You smell good. And they're going to see your skin and they're going to say, you look good. So, you smell good and look good. You feel good. What more can you ask for? Happiness is a juicer away. Let me taste this for you people. Mmm, boy, oh boy. Wow. It is undescribably fantastic. You can't can't even describe how good this tastes. There's no way to describe it. There's no way you'll ever know. <laughs> unless you make it. Because they don't sell this at the local supermarkets. They don't even sell this juice at the health food stores. So get with it.
get healthy today.